Hey guys, Furum here, and today I'm going to be testing the Ferrari 599XX Evo in multiplayer in Asphalt 9 at 5 stars. Now, this is not completely golden maxed, as I do not have any epics for the car, but I did manage to 5 star it in its car hunt recently, going all the way from 1 star. I did spend some tokens on some packs and on some refills in the event, but largely I just played the event, and finally, after 5 starring the car with about a day to spare, I got the key for the car. This is one that I'd been wanting ever since it came out, but decided to skip it because I was saving for the 4th Drive Syndicate, and we all know how that went. So now, I have the car, I finally have a more agile car that I can use in the Class C Elite events along with my Aranera if there is ever a track where that is better. And in the last weekend, I was able to get pretty similar times with both cars. A lot of people say that the 599XX Evo is kind of just a glorified Pininfarina, and yeah, I can definitely see that, but it at least has some more utility of being able to be used in the Class C Elite events, and probably will continue to be able to be used there as it is one of the highest ranked cars in Class C. Why? I don't really know, because those people are right, its performance does not really match its rank of nearly 3,700. I mean, it goes 207, the Pinfree ends at 3,000. So I totally understand that. I'm not saying it's justified to have as high of a rank. I'm just saying that it is better off this way because it is better than the Cayman, which is the only other Agile car that's in the Class C Elite events that isn't a Legend pass car, namely the Corvette and the Bentley. So I'm pretty happy with my duel of maxed C-Class cars. Now in this race, there are going to be some Silver League races and some Gold League races, mostly Gold League races, which is one that we're going to be doing right here. This is one of the closest races that I've had in Asphalt 9 for a long time. I would say it is the second closest race, or maybe the third closest that I've ever had. The single closest race that I've ever had was one time when I unfortunately was not recording and did not get the replay. But I was in the Maserati Alfieri, it was a five player race, and I came in first, but this is the crazy thing. The second, third, and fourth place players came in at the exact same frame time shown in the game as I did, and the fifth place was quite further back, but that's four people coming in at the same frame. I don't think I've ever seen that before and probably will never again. I'm pretty sure I've seen three and two is fairly common, but four is just something else. In this race here, though, I already knew it was going to be close as I'm pretty much neck and neck with these Corvettes who are like seven miles per hour faster than me, so I don't really know how I'm able to stay ahead, but we're coming up to the finish line. They're just creeping up to me and they go on either side of me coming to the finish line and I finish in first place with the second place guy tying with me and the third place Corvette coming in just a frame behind. Definitely the closest three-player race I've ever been in at least, and now we move on to a race where we're facing some more of the big dogs. So we've got a couple of Huracans here, namely, and that's a car that has pretty much everything going for it above mine. It's got pretty much better everything. Now, the 599XX does have better acceleration, for example, than that of the Corvette, which is perhaps why I was able to beat that car in the previous races, or at least have it be closer than it might have otherwise been. But when you run across a Huracan like this, there's really not a whole lot you can do, which is why I don't think this car is going to be especially amazing for getting to Platinum League. You could probably do it, and you know, I might just try it. I'll let you know how it goes if I do decide to do that, because I have seen people before, even on my channel before, some people giving me races in the C-Class cars, like my first Scalo video, I think, where John gave me some races where he was up in Legend League. I don't know if he got there using that car, but that's pretty impressive, because he was doing pretty well against some higher-end S-Class cars, which isn't really something you see every day. Some of you might be wondering why there haven't been many videos this week. Well, this was my last week of finals at the end of my second year of college, so I'm officially halfway to graduation of my applied math degree, and I had five final exams in the span of five days, so you might be able to imagine just how hectic the studying for that would have been. So now we're moving on to a race in Nevada against three Super Legras, a Porsche Carrera GT, as well as an Apex AP0. A bunch of cars which aren't quite as popular in multiplayer. And another thing that I noticed, especially after doing my second weekly recap for the ESL Mobile Open, which you should check out if you haven't yet, is that Nevada is definitely one of the longer tracks in the game. And the easiest way for me to tell that is whenever I'm putting videos together or races together in my video editor, Nevada is always the longest one, and Shen City, 
I think, or whatever that really short Shanghai one is, is always the shortest one. And pretty much everything else is somewhere in between. Just thought that was kind of funny. Oh, and speaking of ESL, the finals will be held on May 16th. I'm not sure yet of the exact time, but I will be sure to let you guys know when that is. I'll be co-hosting with Inverum, casting the final races to crown the winner of this season's North American division. Now, if you've seen my recap videos and you've been following ESL, you might have noticed that some of the races that you've seen online might have slightly better times, but aren't in my video. And I will tell you the reason for that just after this really crazy stunt that I did in this car where I'm extremely surprised I didn't wreck in any other day I would have wrecked on that. Don't know how I didn't, but I guess I get blessed in the game sometimes to make up for all the bad luck I get. But anyways, the reason for that is because there are three divisions overall of the ESL Mobile Open this time around. There is the North American division, which is how it started out in the first season. There is then the Europe division, which has been a couple seasons before, but now it has expanded even further, and now there is an Asia division. It's certainly exciting to see it expand around the world, but because I'm in the United States, I'm going to be casting only the North American division. In this next race, we're facing three Corvette Grand Sports, as well as a DBS Super Allegra and a Mercedes-Benz SLR. So one question that a lot of people have been asking me recently is when I'm going to be posting another best and worst cars in each class list video. And that's a very good question. I've typically done one every four to five updates and it seems like we're about time for a new one. However, I don't know if I'm going to be continuing that series, at least not in the form that I have, because there's becoming so many cars in the game that it's become extremely difficult to really rank them, and it's become difficult to put them all on screen as well. So I am not sure how I want to do that in the future. Let me know if you guys have any ideas, but if I do it, I don't think it will be in the exact same format as I've done before. And I'm trying to figure out a way to make it more streamlined while not being as cluttered, because with over or well over 100 cars in the game now it's definitely going to be and that was an accidental 360 there I don't think it helped me in that case but it almost looked like I was trying to do a floaty drift no that was just accidental on my part also in some other exciting news and this is the first place I'm saying this so congratulations if you made it this far in the video I will be releasing my asphalt volume one album on Spotify and any place pretty much that you can get music in just about one week currently you can listen to it on Bandcamp and SoundCloud because those are two of the main places where you can directly upload music yourself but I went through a music distribution company to get it onto more major platforms because a lot of people have been asking for it on Spotify in particular and now you'll be able to listen to it on Spotify and I've begun working on my next song as well the music is complete and I have an idea of what I want the song to be about I just need to write the lyrics and record them and make the video yeah that's that's a lot but it'll probably be out in a month or two ever since once stunts way back in 2017 four years ago gosh that's been a long time i've uploaded an asphalt 8 or 9 music video once every six months or so on average and i plan to keep doing that as long as i still have ideas and content to make music about but i don't think that'll go away anytime soon also i'm experimenting with a new genre this time still edm but kind of a new sub genre so we'll see how that goes well we've now come into to our last race and you may have noticed that in the first few races my car was red but finally it is purple yes after I got the car I just completely forgot to change it into purple after the first few races because I was so excited to finally have it and being able to test in multiplayer I just completely forgot about that but now it's purple and so that's why I'm able to do so well against this Huracan here but anyway now it's time for my general review about the car overall I would say that it's quite a good multiplayer car I mean you've seen in this video that in Silver League it does extremely well in Gold League it does quite well too I mean, in this race, we're beating some Huracans and stuff like that. It's not going to be amazing in upper leagues, but it's very fun to drive. It's very stable, and it is useful in the Class C Elite event, which makes it somewhat more desirable for people who don't have the Legend Pass, as I don't even know how long the Aranera is going to stay there, probably until we get another fast car. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video if you have enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more Asphalt and other games content, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. <laughs>